we are taking 80 cm cloth to cut this blouse. If you want to make this blouse 13 inches in length, then 1 inch more will be marked on 14 inches. Then put another marking for the armhole at 5 and a half inches. And then draw the line on it. When the back neck is open 10 inches, solder the mark for the 32 inch chest at 5 inches. Now it is the turn of the chest, then see this is a very important measurement, it has to be set according to the depth of the neck. In this blouse, the back neck is being made open 10 inches, so we do not need to do anything in its chest, like chest is 32 inches, so directly we will take its fourth part of 8 inches, and will mark here. Mark the cross back at 5 and a half inches, and draw the line like this. Now with the help of French curve, we will make round shape here. The waist of this blouse is 29 inches. So mark its fourth part at 7 and a quarter inches. Now you must know that if there is a dart in the waist, then extra mark will be done for 1 and a quarter inch dart. Now mix it with the chest. Also add 1 and a half inch sewing margin. Now after this we will mark for the width of the shoulder at 2 and 3 quarters inches. And here is a little down. Mark the neck here at 10 and a half inches. Then whatever shape you want to give after that give it. In this way the drawing of the back side is completed, now we will cut it. Now after this we will also mark the dart in this way. Now look here, here we will cut 3 quarters inch diagonally like this. Friends, in this way the cutting of the back side is completed, now let's move to the front side. We will cut the front side with the help of paper. First draw a margin of 3 points for hook and eye. Now pay attention here keeping the front neck open 6 inches, so for this put the shoulder mark on 5 and a quarter inches. Now after this we have to keep the back side on this mark, something like this. Now after this we will copy the shoulder and arm hole. Now after this first mark the cross back, something like this. Now after this exactly 3 quarters inch inside, 36, draw a line more like this. This is called cross front. Now after this we will depend it here also with the help of French curve. The shoulder of the front palette is cut a quarter inch down from the back side, something like this. If the neck is to be kept open 6 inches in front then mark it on 6 and a half inches. And after this give the shape you want to give to the neck, we are giving a round shape here. Now till now the cutting was very easy, but look at the further process a little carefully. Its bust height comes at 9 and a half inches. Measuring this 9 and a half inches from above, mark here. Now after that we will draw a straight line. Now after this we will take the katori. For this measurement we will take a 31 inch to 34 inch chest size katori. Look this katori has to be kept just above this bust line in this way. And also keep in mind that here the hook eye line should match. See this is a katori kit and it has 7 katori of firma. This is a puff maker for 4 dart blouse. And here comes the French curve, which costs 280 rupees. You can buy it by visiting our website rupeshdevanagan.com. Or you can also order on this number through WhatsApp. Cash on delivery facility is available. Look here first mark the center point. Now after this mark both the darts. Now draw a line from the center point on both the marks.
See friends, the length of the dart in the katori also has a sewing margin added. We have to reduce that, so see here we will reduce 3 points on these two lines. Something a bit like this. Now look here, we will draw a line like this at 90 degrees. This part is 1 or 1 and a half inches more than the waist of the blouse. We have to set it. The waist of this blouse is 29 inches. So its fourth part will be 7 and a quarter inches. So in this 7 and a quarter inches, inch more means 7 and a quarter inches. We have to take the front and back part of the dart together. See here the front of the dart is coming to and 3 quarters inches. Now put this measurement in the back of the dart and mark here 7 and a half inches. Now after this we will match this mark from the chest with the help of scale and also draw a sewing margin of 1 and a half inches. Now straight from the rear dart. Draw a line parallel to this line. And make a point 3 inches below this dart. And then take the back side and mark the bottom part of it. And then match this point with the marking like this. Friends, it is not necessary that this sap should always be seen here due to the length of the blouse. This sap can be seen differently. Now it's time for the belt. See you can set the belt according to you. Keeping the belt straight here. Now we will cut this. Both will tuck tucks under the dart. Also cut off the center mark. Now it's belt's turn. Now have some patience. Look friends, from here the fourth part of the waist. The fourth quarter of the waist is 7 and a quarter inches. After that add 3 point sewing margin to it for hook eye. Now see friends, here the dart has to be kept in front in this way. Look, a little paper is falling here. So we will stick a small piece of paper here. After that again put the dart here in front. One thing to keep in mind here, if we keep the scale here, look like this. So it is at least a half inch in this way. Look I put the scale in here so a half inch it's out here. Means it should come out. And also we will mark the front part like this. Take the drawing of the belt in this way, now we will cut it. Now see here draw a slant line from the center point to the arm hole. Then put the French curve as follows. Will give more round shape. In this way the belted princess cut blouse has been cut on the paper. Now we will cut it on the cloth. Look at it very carefully. Wherever I am putting the sewing margin, you also keep on putting it. See I have stitched margins here on the side and on the bottom. Now let's cut it. We will add sewing margin to the belt also. Look we have cut its lining. Now after this we will also cut the cloth on which we want to make it. We have made the back palette like this. For this you have to cut the back side in paper. After that the design has to be made like this. Then it has to be cut.
after that stitch margin then this design will be made we are not showing sleeve cutting because one day in a week the tutorial on sleeve cutting is told separately which you must see 